You know, I haven't been able to travel for the past three years, but recently the quarantine rules were getting easier. Just a few days ago, they announced that now you need to spend only three days in the quarantine hotel and four days at home. And I am thinking I might have a chance to go traveling around Christmas. And when I do go traveling, I want this experience to be as comfortable as possible. And that's why I was so excited when Vesta Sleep reached out to me and sent me their spiral travel pillow. Just look at this packaging, so adorable. I've never seen a travel pillow of such shape and I like how flexible this pillow is. Everybody can customize it to their liking. And it has temperature control, fuzzy side for the cold night to keep you warm and a smooth side to keep you cool. And it also comes with a portable bag that protects the pillow when you are traveling. Here I am trying on a pillow to show you the different levels of support and looking absolutely stunning. I usually like sleeping against the window, if I have a window seat obviously, and you can bend the pillow like this, very comfortable. Or you can rock it as a stunning accessory as well. And also, when I sleep on a bus or a plane, my head tends to tilt forward and spiral travel pillow gives you great support in this case. And you know, I just recently moved into this apartment and this window right here is a bit weird. It serves no purpose and brings too much light into the room at night. And I might need to get a curtain for it, but I have something better. Vesta Super Bamboo Sleep Mask. The material feels very smooth and cooling. I like that you can adjust the straps however tight you want them. My skin is quite sensitive, but this special bamboo material is antibacterial and hyperallergic. I slept so well last night. And if you're interested to check out Vesta's products, you can use my discount code Vesta Spacewalker to get 10% off. Go check out their website, they have lots of products to choose from. Duvets, bundles, bedding, pillows, sleepwear, towels. I want to change my pillows as well and I need new towels at home. So I think I will explore more of their products. I will leave all the information in the description box below, links to the products I showed you, as well as my discount code, Vesta Spacewalker. So I came back home after work and today is very windy. And yesterday we had a typhoon. And this broom is not mine. And it's like parked here. I don't know, it, it arrived from upstairs or something. And then, Next to it is a dead mouse! <laughs> what are these two items doing on my balcony? I'm pretty sure that one of their brooms fell down on my balcony. So I sprayed everything. That mouse was disgusting. Picking up that mouse? Oh lord, it was disgusting. I tried a new restaurant in a newly opened mall in Cosway Bay. That is the only place that is open in that mall for now. This restaurant belongs to the City Super Group. Uh, the food was alright, not mind-blowing. The noodle portion could feed 10 people. Cup noodles. Seasoning, roasted corn, teriyaki, ramen noodle, hot and spicy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so my monthly fix of uh, beauty stuff finally arrived for the month of July in this beautiful yellow box, very sunny. And here's what was inside. There's like a scalp scrub, which is so cool. I tried this kind of stuff before, uh, but this one smells amazing. That scalp scrub, oh, so, so good. Then we have the shower body bar, which also smells amazing. 
also comes with this thing so you can hang it in the shower it looks like this it smells so so good what is the papaya and oat milk oh so good this moisturizing after sun gel with aloe vera oh a must a must for the hong kong summers then we have some loose powder by terry never tried this brand before and apparently it should be like a hydrating powder i guess then we have the pink clay sheet mask love 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 sheet masks let's try it later today and the last thing we have is a mini version of a body butter which which is always useful to have one at home so now i'm going to try the scalp scrub then i will try the shower body bar after the shower i will have my beautiful pink clay mask and then i will use the body butter i literally never had a sheet mask with clay it's very interesting it's a totally different experience it's not slippery it's very matte weird feeling So on Saturday we had the kindergarten graduation rehearsal and in my class we had one boy with the C word, you know what I'm saying? And guess what happened? My class was not allowed to come to the rehearsal, but I still needed to be there. What a waste of my time! And it was also hot as hell, so I went back home straight to the shower. Then I went to Shamshipo for some shopping. But first, we need to eat something. Shabshipo has changed so much since the last time I worked there, which was around like five years ago. Now they have lots of cool little shops and different hip and young coffee shops and restaurants. In this restaurant, they serve vegetarian food and I think it's kind of a fusion style. My impossible burger had cilantro on it, which they freaking love cilantro in Hong Kong. I'm not a big fan myself, but it was definitely interesting. This one is one of my favorite shops in Shamshipo. It's a madness of vintage stuff. To me, it's like being in a history museum.
So we stumbled upon this crazy shop with all this random 90s toy and my heart was... Can I take you home, please? And then I bought a few things in this Japanese store. Okay, finally I have time to unbox everything that I bought. And it's been a while, honestly. I just didn't have the energy to unbox it. And my neighbors right now are having a renovation. So if you hear some noise, well, what can I do? So these are the little glasses that I bought in the vintage shop. They package them so, so tightly. Ah, it's a struggle. It is a struggle. So here's the first one with some flower design. And this one is with the peacock, like some flowers. I don't know. They remind me of the glasses my grandma has from like Soviet times, probably around the same era, to be honest. But yeah, I think it's quite cute for juice or something. Let's see what is next. How do we open this one? Oh, so pretty. So this is a mug that I bought in the Japanese store. I think it's so pretty. I just like simple things. For my morning coffee. Ta -da. Moving on to the next mug. A slightly different style like this I don't know I think it's quite pretty and I also bought two little plates for I don't know snacks or whatever let me show you all right here we go this is the first one in this kind of like dark green color and the second one is the same but in white color nice you can put some little cake on it sandwich whatever having my birthday chocolate muffin with some raspberry on top with my morning coffee before going for the graduation today it's gonna be madness also deciding which nail color i want today maybe i'll go for the white one let's see kindergarten graduation in hong kong is like a broadway musical I left home at 12 and I came back around 8 p.m. and all this time I didn't have a second to sit down. So of course by the time I came back home I was not in the birthday mood anymore. Being an adult is so sad. Today I'm super lazy, just working on my things, ordered some Mexican food and yeah. All I want to do is just fall asleep right now. We've got here some quesadilla, sour cream, guacamole and the rest of it. And there's some chips. Nice. Very, very nice. And then on Saturday, we needed to work again. You thought the graduation related nightmare was over? Nah. We came to work to take pictures with parents and children. But it wasn't a casual, relaxed meeting, no. We needed to change kids' face masks to the school face mask with the school logo. We were also wearing them and it is freaking huge and very uncomfortable. Then kids needed to wear their graduation gown again. Then. They needed to perform three songs in front of the parents. Then they needed to receive the graduation certificates again, which they already did during the graduation ceremony. But yeah, why not repeat the same thing? Then parents watched some sentimental video. And after that, they had maybe like five seconds to take pictures with us. 
because every class had a different time slot and it was a very tight schedule. Well, what was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? That week was just exhausting as hell. But I've got some cute presents. We went to check out this African-themed cafe, which we found randomly when we were researching for some other thing. And we thought it was quite interesting to try. But for a place that puts tea and coffee in their name, their tea and coffee were quite bad. But the food was amazing. That is all for today's video. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!